ultra expensive US coins. Don't sell these. We're going over some incredibly rare coins in this video. If you find any of the coins that you see in this video, do not spend them because they're worth a ton of money. Let's hop into this video with the first one being the Buffalo Nickel. This coin was designed by James Errol Frazier. The Buffalo Nickel features a Native American profile on the obverse or the front and an American buffalo or bison on the reverse. These coins were minted from 1913 all the way to 1938. This example sold for $90,000 because this is a rare example. This is what we call a 1918 over 7D 5 cent buffalo nickel. If you look down at the date, you can see the 8 also looks like there's a 7 there. This is a minting mistake that happened, which allowed it to sell for $90,000. Despite the name, the Mercury Dime actually depicts a young Liberty wearing a winged cap, often mistaken for the Roman god Mercury. It was designed by Adolf A. Weinman and circulated from 19 1916 to 1945. This example sold for $144,000. It's a 1918 S 10 cent mercury dime graded by PCGS at a mid state 67 with the full bands on the back. So on the back of the coin, you're going to see these full horizontal bands. That is the highest point in the coin. It gets worn down the quickest and it's the hardest to strike during the minting process. This area is what collectors will pay more money for if the coin has full bands on a mint state coin. If the coin is very circulated, then the bands don't really matter. This is a very important day for the mercury dime, especially in a 67 grade, which is so, so high. That's why it's up for $144,000. The Indian head cent coin was designed by James B. Longacre. It features a Native American chief on the obverse and a wreath on the reverse of the back of the coin. It was minted from 1859 to 1909. This is a beautiful example of an 1864 one cent coin that has an L on the ribbon. So if you look very closely on the ribbon on this coin, you're going to see a small little L. That variety of this coin is super popular and very hard to find. If yours has this and it's in a high grade, you could have a coin worth a lot of money because this example is up for 152750 bucks. So this is an 1837 half dollar capped bust design, which was engraved by Christian Gobreached. The design was used from 1807 to 1839, and there's some slight variations in later years. Do keep in mind, these are all United States coins. If you find any of these coins, it might be worth getting graded and authenticated, but first, you want to get the opinion of at least three different coin experts. What we recommend is also picking up our completely free coin and currency ebook down below. We recently updated it with more information, so do pick that up. It's completely free. This example got a very high grade, only three points away from the perfect grade of 70 at a 67. That's why this example sold for $180,000. One of my favorite types of coins here, this is an 1881 Morgan Silver Dollar that was minted by the Carson City mint, which you can see by that CC mint mark. This is part of the famous Morgan Dollar Silver series designed by George Morgan. These coins are highly sought after by collectors due to their historical significance and limited mintage. Specifically, the Carson City Mint is a very low mint run. This example got graded very high at a deep mirror proof like PCGS Mint State 67 plus. All the bells and whistles, this is the coin that collectors want, especially those top dollar collectors that have a lot of money this example sold for $228,000. The Standing Liberty Quarter, designed by Herman Atkins McNeil, was first minted in 1916. It features a Standing Liberty figure on the obverse or the front and an eagle in flight on the reverse. The design underwent modifications during its production run due to wear issues on the initial design. A lot of these times when they were being produced, you know, back in the early 1900s, they were still figuring some things out. This coin got graded at a proof 65, even though some areas on the coin look a bit muddled down. That is just due to how the coins were struck back in the day. If you have a 1916 coin like this, you might have a coin with $240,000 like this coin sold for. If you haven't already, smash that like button. It would help us out tremendously, and we'll see you in the next video.